25 past 5. 12 degrees, let's go. Had a bit more rain, which means there's a bit more mud. But still. Not that bad, I can't get through. It's like they're shading from the sun. What a snail time, isn't it? I think I've never seen that many. All making the crossing. Surely it's just safe to stay on one side. How big do they want their will to be? Great day yesterday. Me and Nina went to see the, uh, the small boats that was commandeered for Dunkirk. And uh, yeah, it was nice the way they'd done it. They'd buy each boat by its mooring, there was a, like an information board saying exactly what it'd done, um, how many soldiers it picked up, how many times it went over to pick up trapped, trapped soldiers. Fantastic. But it didn't take long. So we then walked through. St Catherine Stockport Tower Bridge up to Old Gate, then up Brick Lane and then uh, and then this was, and we had a bit of lunch down there, some uh, sushi, sashimi, very nice. Then walked um, down uh, Bishop's Gate to back down to London Bridge. Uh, but while we was cutting through Spitalfields, we see a sign, Oyster Bar, aye aye. So we went in half a, half a dozen oysters and a couple of glasses of uh, sparkling wine each. That was nice. And carried on all the way down Bishop's Gate. To, uh, uh, oh, at the end, it just started raining, so we jumped on a bus down to... Uh, London Bridge and there just over more London had a um, tea or coffee for Nina and a, and a Danish pastry very nice and some Danish bakers very nice then got the train home had a good walk good lunch and uh, a good time which is you know that's it. If you live in London, you've got to live London, ain't you? Look at just sitting in your house saying, I live in London. If you never do anything in London, do get out and do something. That's exactly what we did. Yeah, so this morning I'm off to Appleby Blue for a cookery course they've organised for the um, residents and outsiders to uh, yeah, go in and three hours, ten till one, cooking something. That's it. I think we're doing a lamb with a crispy chickpea topping. How about that? We've got the chef. Woody, who does a does a turn down at um, Copleston now and again, so proper chefs. Interesting. That one sounds like a camera shut, not that one. It sounds like a camera shut clicking. 
Yeah. There's been a new woman over here walking this time of the day. Um, didn't want to say hello in case it scares her off the first first time. You know, oh, five, five o'clock in the morning. Anyway, she's just gone past me. Good morning. Yeah, she's like seen me a oh, dozen types of things that I eat regular, not just nutter. Kind of, uh, oh, yeah, so that's another good morning person on the list. The other three, four, or whatever. That's it, two laps done. So there I was out early, kind of um, on my way to uh, Appleby for the cookery session, and I got a puncher in Deptford Broadway. Couldn't stop there, so I had to drive about half a mile, three quarters of a mile up to the other end of Deptford High Street and find a little side street where I could park and uh, call, like, call for a bit of help. At last, a bit of action. Thank fuck for that. Anyway, three hours, 185 quid. I could have cried. Missed out on uh, what I was hoping to do today. And, uh, yeah, just and all that money in cold blood. I fucking hate it. Never mind. <laughs>